Riots, armed standoffs, and high-speed police pursuits can quickly escalate into grave situations for suspects, law enforcement officers, or anybody caught in between. In an effort to reduce some of the risks, researchers are using military technology to develop an arsenal of less than lethal weapons that are right out of a spy novel. CNET's Richard Hart visited a company in Southern California to examine this stunning new technology. Watch this. It should be noted that these technologies are still in the testing phase and are considered very powerful and potentially hazardous deterrents to crime. Now, this here in my hand is the Officer Hand Launcher from GTEC America Corporation. It's designed to deter assailants, giving you an opportunity to take evasive action. It's currently being tested by SWAT teams across the country, and it works just like this. Gotcha! That's CNET's uh, Richard Hart right there. This now, is... Uh... Would I have stopped you? This would have uh, <laughs> startled me more than anything else. The point is, I knew this was coming, but if you were someone who wasn't expecting it, it would startle you and stop you enough so that you, the user, could get away. So I think it would work to that extent. As the user, it's very easy to use. One shot and I nailed you. If I wanted your job, I'd have it by now. Hey, can we reload this, please? Can you get me out of this, please? Finally, there may be hope for those who dread the sound and, worse yet, the feel of a dentist drill coming right at you. A new device is in development that uses a laser instead of a drill to work on the old chompers. The laser drill techniques should expand to all types of dental procedures as time goes on. The major cause of a traffic tie-up is a dumb driver. Maybe smart cars are the answer. Our next story takes a look at a couple of experiments that involve cars driven by computers. Now, these cars are so smart, they can actually tailgate without bending a fender. If you'd like to know more about automated car systems or anything you've seen in the show or something you've seen in a past episode of The New Edge, visit us on the World Wide Web. We're located... Arnold Schwarzenegger did it. So did CNET's Richard Hart. And now you can, too. Have yourself Xeroxed by a laser. It's the latest craze in movie making and in fashion. And here he is. Well, it's not actually Richard. He's off today, so I can actually poke a little fun at him. Hey, nice shorts there, Richard. You've been working out, big guy? How about that hair? Oh, my God. This is actually a foam model of Richard. They're making these in plastic and even steel. Can we get this thing out of here, guys? Whoops. Whenever NASA decides to retire the robots and send a human to Mars or the moon, they're going to want the highest tech camera they can find to bring back those pictures. Well, Ryan, that would be this one. It's the Canon Elf, and this is the world's smallest zoom-capable camera. Check that out. In case out. you're wondering who this guy is, this is Desmond Crisis. He gets to play with, thank you, with all the consumer technology here at CNET. Yep, this is one of the first APS cameras. It's the advanced photo system, and it does a lot of nifty things. Now, any APS camera can automatically load film, mm -hmm. as well as stamp the time and the date on each frame, right? That's right, and also encodes a lot of other information on that film so that you can reference things by the frame number and also has a bunch of different data in there that's used by the developing system. Look at the size. Check this out. How did they get this so small yet so effective? Well, part of it is the film that they use. It's this Advantix film and it comes in a much smaller canister. But although the film is small, you can actually get different larger size photos out of it. Now, here is your standard size photo right there like you're used to now. Mm -hmm. But you can also get a wide photo. And for those big scenic shots, you can get a panorama photo. Check that out. Dog, dog. Dog, who is this dog? Ever wonder what it would be like if you could reach into your computer screen and touch what you see? Well, in the future, you will. The technology is called haptic, meaning sense of touch, and it's already bringing us a new generation of computer games. Few computers are actually using the Hewlett Packard technology yet, but you can pick up the force feedback joystick for a limited number of games. If you want some more information on that joystick or anything you saw on the show, or you want to say, Ryan, did you pick out that ugly green shirt? Check us out on the World Wide Web. We're located at CNET.com. From CNET, the computer network, I'm Ryan Seacrest. We'll see you next time on The New Edge.